Hello there. Uh, this video uh, is done as a showcase for the last course for SportsPress. And the last video was uh, for 0 0.2 version. And now we are at 1.1.0. And we had introduced a lot of features. Well, let's go over some of them. The first one is the live scores which are done automatically so these teams are not your own teams this is done using the score scores pro free part and if you want me to show you that is it so this is something that is here pulled from here but you can view it with the style of sportpress so, uh, if your team does support SportsPress, it will be styled pretty beautifully. And these events are uh, are updated each minute, and that's fine. What a new thing also is the this live events widget, which wasn't before. So if we are or n on any page we will see the live events and we see that there is no data available in this table. So how do we do that? First let me show you how to add that widget. You go here and you have this live event list which you can include as a normal widget. You can title, you can add which calendar to select and it should work out of itself so i'm using the fixtures and results and if i go to the fixtures and results let's leave this page we can see that everything is in here so in this feature we have everything we have 16 events and let's create another one new live game and let's add teams like this and like that and publish this game and now if I refresh it we'll see that this game is here but this game hasn't started yet okay so let's start it live great okay and you see this is was updated it was fast because my settings are to update every five seconds but on a live site you should uh, refrain from that at set at about 60 setting, seconds or so so we can also add it the score like this so well not this but this and don't mind the outcome of it since we let's say like that and you see it was updated again and we can also look at the game and see what we have here so this is the pro part which i'll talk about later but this is actually this live event so the live has started and you can see all the halves and everything that is here so we can easily update the result. So when your first half in soccer ends, just click end first half and it will end. And if you want to update the results, you can also do it from here. You see? Of course, as I said, this is only 5 seconds, so it's pretty fast. And the pro version is also enabling the comment area. If we don't have any comments, we can easily add them and these icons can be done even by your own so i um, have a goal let's say the first minute and let's say go and i add that comment and it's here if i refresh the page it will still be here so how do we add these icons it's pretty easy let's go to sportpress configure and then 
we go scroll and scroll and scroll and there the, here we have the commentary icon so we can also add let's say red card and put it the card and put it on red and uh, like that and publish now if i go here i also have a red card so i said red card for modric or someone else great you see everything is working well just fine so you can also add any other images the fact is that this was done using the sportspress icons so if sportspress updates itself it will also update here but you can always select your own icon here from the media so that is that we have the commentary we have a front end part where you can define the matches we have a new widget and also the scores pro free part for the soccer and soon it will be available for basketball and other parts so if we also go to edit page you can see that we are just using a simple widget like this and to be available you this isn't activated immediately so you need to go to integration and activate that feature and if you want the commentary part then you should go and upgrade just by clicking here and when upgrading you will get the premium version of this plugin and the last part i want to show you is the live part configuration so this is something uh, the for soccer so we have first half which is long 45 minutes it has stoppage minutes and after it ends it will say half time the duration is for, for the second pulse is also 45 it has stoppage minutes but after the end it won't show a word but since this is uh, like that it will show minutes so if you are on 91 it will still say 91 and only after if we end the match then it will say that it's finished if not then it means probably that we are going to the extra half so when we start that it will go here 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 and the post periods are something that is done where the me the minutes aren't working actually so let's say the penalties well these penalties are not the ones that are going through the first and second half but these are the penalties that are happening after the second extra half so the minute is stopped and then the penalties are uh, going on and after we uh, click that and if we say that the penalty have started then the text where the where um, we show the minutes it won't say that it will say penalty so your visitors do know that the current status of this match is penalties and that is also something that can be done for any any type of sport we have something that lasts and updates the minutes and if uh, and if we don't if we need to have something that doesn't display minutes then we have the pause periods but of course these pause periods can be something else if we just use the statuses of of match of a match of a game and there are different ones we can set them here and start and end those statuses and that's it pretty simple and if of course if you have any questions you can contact me through the support forum of this plugin thank you for watching and bye